Two people are dead after a shooting on the north side of town. The SWAT team responding and to a, an armed suspect inside. Now they are investigating this as a murder suicide. On your side's camera, Eppinger is learning more and he has the latest. Such a tragic situation. This quiet community here on the north side woken up by gunfire. In this mobile home that you see behind me, this is where those two bodies were found inside. And you can also see just the damage that was left behind from the SWAT team after they were forced to make their way inside. I'm just hurt to see one of my best friends go. Uh, just sucks because I was just hanging out with them. Tyler Bloom is left devastated after losing his close friend. The two shared a special bond since middle school. But unfortunately, it was shattered last night after he says she was found dead inside this mobile home where she lived with her parents. Was there any indication or anything like this, like something like this would happen? To be honest, no. But like, I guess it makes more sense now because like her dad was, you know, he'd always drink and he would always start an argument or something like that. But I didn't think he would go this far. Last night around 9 o'clock, police were called out to this north side mobile home along Lanny Road near Jacksonville National Cemetery. When they arrived, Tyler says initially police found the girl's mother suffering from a gunshot wound. Uh, she was conscious at the time and was able to relay that she had been shot inside a nearby residence and um, that there may be other individuals still inside that residence. After a SWAT standoff, police later came across a disturbing discovery. An older man and young woman dead, both suffering from gunshot wounds. Tyler says it was his best friend and her father. I hear them on the megaphone saying for her father to come out with, their hand, with his hands up. Police are now investigating the incident as a murder-suicide. Tyler says the man shot his wife and killed his daughter before pulling the trigger on himself. Now at this hour, we're still working to learn the exact circumstances and the details that led up to this incident. Once we learn more information, we'll be sure to pass it along to you both on air and online at firstcoastnews.com. For now, reporting from the north side, Cameron Leppinger, First Coast News, on your side.